Hey friends, this is Aran. Oh, forgot my lippy. Cannot start our video without having a quality lip, okay? Mm. And for my makeup lovers, this is the Lip Bars Rich Auntie because that's how I identify when I get dressed as a rich auntie. But let's go ahead and run this back one time for us. Hey friends, this is Aronica Cole and welcome back to my channel where I talk about plus size sewing as well as being a baddie in the world today. JK, 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 but also for real. Um, I know that I normally talk about plus size sewing, but today I'm actually talking about what I made for my kids for their spring break trip. Now I'm currently editing the vlog, the vloggy vlog, um, for one last week's spring break, but also for two weeks before that where I was prepping for spring break. So you guys can see when I started making this and kind of a little bit about my process, then I will definitely make sure that it gets linked so that if you're like, girl, houseway, how did you do that? Like, did you stop all of your living in order to make this happen? The answer, of course, will be no. And you'll see how I did it. But before we get started, let us address the obvious elephantes in the room. The first one being your girl colored her hair back to black. Now, listen, I'm all for hair color and I love it. But my truth of it is that I really feel most beautiful when I just have my hair at its like kind of natural color. And I know that I'm not like a jet black girly. I'm more of like a natural black, kind of like dark, dark brown. And I, when I tell you that I feel so beautiful with my hair like this, um, so I was really excited when I got to my in-laws, I definitely got some box dye and we got it back together, okay? The second is, oh my God, is that new ink? Indeed it is. So when I was away, um, for those of you who don't know, I love reading. I recently wrapped up reading uh, Throne of Glass, which is by Sarah J. Moss. I'm definitely in my romance era, my not my necessarily my romance era, but like definitely my fantasy era where I'm loving reading all of these fantasy books. And so I, um, one of the things that the two like main characters, and I don't even want to say that they were both main characters, the main character who started off as Selena, who turned into Aelin, if you know, you know. One of the things that her and her husband, Rowan Whitethorn, who is the best book husband in the world, um, would say to each other is to whatever end. And seeing as though my husband and I kicked off our 10 year anniversary um, during spring break, simply because our kids were gone at that point in time, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get a tattoo that says to whatever end. And it also has the fire slayer. Um, I mean, the Kingslayer flower on the shoulder. And if you read the book, then you know that, that was like really big in the book as far as their success and their uh, in the ending. So I got that done because I, my husband is very much so like the real life Rowan Whitethorn for me. And he is my to whatever end. So those are our two elephants in the room. But with that, let's go ahead and talk about spring break makes. So spring break for us kicked off, of course, with Easter Sunday, right? And <clears throat> if you celebrate Easter Sunday, I love that for you. If you don't, I also love that for you. We're not here to debate whether or not that is to be celebrated. But I will say that we actually got in the car and road trip to Florida for that day. So I did make my kids Easter outfits. And when I was talking about everything that I'd made for my kids for spring break, I asked I forgot to mention that. So one of the things not pictured here is actually the um, romper or maybe I made her a dress. I made her a dress. I made a dress for my best friend and I did not photograph it. So that is not going to be pictured, but I also made that last week or rather not last week, but the week before last in prep for spring break. But let's get into everything that I did make. We're going to start off with my oldest daughter because I made her the least because she has the most clothes. She doesn't really like she's kind of hit her where she's she's growing to. We're done with growth spurts for her at 14. So for her, she got for Easter. I made her this sweatshirt. Um, and I use the Relax Raglan from Patterns for Pirates. And then she also got a pair of matching leggings. And the leggings are made out of a double, double brush polyester. And I also made these using the Patterns for Pirates uh, peg leg pattern. 
Now, I also made two patterns for her that are currently in testing. I'm gonna show you anyway because I really love this pattern that's in testing. I made myself a version and I can't stop wearing it. Um, but the first is a little crop tank top for her. The beautiful thing is that it comes with a cr shelf bra because girly has boobs. So we've got the shelf bra in here. And then I also, cause they were doing like a, an all white like party on the, on the boat. So I also made her that tank top in a dress version, which came down to her knees. So that is it for my girl, my oldest daughter. And if you're like, okay, but girl, what pattern is that? It's gonna be called the Goldie and it's gonna be releasing from Made for Mermaids. So um, I don't know, let me know if we should do a so long for it, okay? Next up is my other daughter. So obviously we're just going in reverse. Um, now she needed the most amount of clothes because her and her sister wear essentially the same sizes, but they are not the same height. So I had to make those adjustments for her clothing and she can't wear her big sister's clothes because her big sister is still wearing them. So she loved this dress. Um, it's a dress and like tank t-shirt combination that was at Target. And I was like, girl, I can make that for you. So I made this and this pattern, I used the made for mermaids Ruby dress for this. And this is a size 14 that I graded to be a size um, 12 or 10 in length. And then she paired that with this t-shirt. And um, I did a lettuce hem. And I'm going to get up close so that you guys can see this. She's really in her lettuce hem era and subscribed. I love that for her. So um, she paired it with that. And this is just the favorite tee pattern from Patterns for Pirates. And I made all of her t-shirts using that. So she got this one and I actually see in my pile that I'm missing a t-shirt, but it's fine. So then I also made her a jumpsuit because she loves a jumpsuit. So hers is shorts and it's got pockets, of course. And to make this, I used the Patterns for Pirates Renly and I used a rayon based fabric for it. And it is so cute on her. I love that it's got this like bright and neon situation that's going on, fantastic. Now, as far as her white dress, I use the Made for Mermaids Blythe and it's just a single tier, but as you can see here, we've got the gathered waistband and all of these need to be pressed, but they were washed as soon as we came back home. So she got this and then I also did a slight flutter sleeve here for her, just to give a little bit of extra zhuzh with that. Then I did go ahead and color block a t-shirt for her. Again, I used the, um, the favorite tee for this as well. And we also have, again, the detailing of the lettuce hem here. And um, I saw her when she was wearing this, so it was a hit, it was approved. Um, then I also made her two tank tops, but I'm only seeing one here, so whatever. But who doesn't love like a Little Mermaid sitch, right? And so for this one, I use the Soraya from uh, Made for Mermaids as well. Now that pattern does call for binding, but your girl was already bound out because she also got that pattern that is in testing, um, a tank top version of that too. So I did binding some obscene amount of times and I was like, your girl is done. So I went ahead and um, just did bands on this and it's a little racer back tank top. And then as far as her Easter outfit, again, she too got some leggings out of some Easter fabric. And these are capri length for her. And then she also got a relaxed raglan out of French Terry as well. So that's it for my daughter. And I do see, I'm like, as I went through it, I was like, wait a minute, we're missing some things. Mama made more, but I feel like that drives home the point. Now let's get into my son because he's actually what kicked off the um, making of clothes for spring break because he's juicy, okay? And so I wanted him to be extremely comfortable as he was dressed. So first up is his Easter outfit. He got a, this is the um, oversized sweater from Patterns for Pirates. Um, and this is in a French terry. And then he paired that with the Made for, Merma Made for Mermaids Sloan Sweats. Now I love the pocket detail on these pants. So I wanna bring this up close so that you can see it. So it's not just like your typical like slat pocket that goes inside. And I am really, really loving 
just kind of how that is done. At first, I didn't think I was going to like it. And I was like, oh man, that's going to take extra time. It didn't take very much extra time. It was super easy to follow and pockets. Okay. He also needed some, some sleep shorts. So I used the walk the planks, which is a pattern from, it's a freebie pattern from patterns for pirates. And I made him just a couple of pairs of sleep shorts. There's an additional pair of sleep shorts that are a Pokemon style. I don't see them here. It's fine. Then I used the Uptown Jogger pattern for the rest of his pants. And he got a couple of pairs of these and I did a little, he got some cargo pockets here. So he got three pairs of shorts. Y'all listen, his juiciness broke through one pair of the shorts. So they had to go by, but they were though so cute. Okay. So he had three pairs of shorts. Only two were being shown. I got this fabric and this is another cargo one. I love this fabric so much. I got it from Craft Hallway during their 40% off sale. So his shorts cost me like maybe $2 to make. So again, then he also got two pairs of pants because when they went to dinner, I didn't want him to be cold. So he got these in a rust color. Also again, featuring our, um, little cargo pocket and of course cargo pockets here. My husband really loved the um, way that we did the waistband, which of course has a drawstring as well as already elastic. So he got a pair in this rust color. And then he also got <clears throat> a pair in this color here, this olive green. Now this olive green one, I decided not to cuff and make it into a, um, like a jogger style because I felt like that would be a little obvious for the color. So yeah, so boom. And friends, that's it. That's all I have to show you as far as all of the things that I have made for my kids for their spring break trips. Now, oddly enough, I made myself nothing to travel in. But if you're like, hey girl, what are you wearing now? I'm wearing the Aurora jumpsuit that I designed last year and I will show you what I have on because this is hands down one of my favorite rompers. Um, I have an obscene amount of them, obviously because testing is going to get us into making so many. But this is the super short shorts, you know, cause giving a little booty in the back. And it comes in both a um, strapless as well as a strap situation. And it comes with pants and two, two um, I actually think it comes in a couple of different lengths of pants. So we've got the flood length pants, then we've got like a capri stitch, and then we have um, a four inch as well as a three inch inseam. And this is a three inch inseam and there's pockets and there's a shelf bra in here too. When I tell you that this is the third one that I've worn within the span of a week, I mean it because babe, these are so comfortable. So anyway, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today as we talked about the, all of the things that I made for these kids for their spring break. The beautiful thing is that because, of course, it was made for warm weather, y'all, this is going straight into summer for them. I will have to fill in some of the gaps with them because I do want them to have some more like looser, like more casual fit fitted items for summer. But we are basically done with our summer wardrobes as well. Anyway, that is it for me this go around. I hope that you guys had a fantastic spring break if you celebrated it because you have kids and you're forced to take time off. If not, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So anyway, make sure that you tune into the vlog that shows kind of a little bit of my behind the scenes um, practice on how I get all of this done because I didn't even count how many pairs of things that that was, but y'all, we made it happen, okay? Um, and yeah. So if you haven't already, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you can be in the know for whenever it is that I drop new videos, which is actually a couple of times a week. Pretty proud of myself. And also, if you are in the Atlanta area, this is a selfless plug for this. We've got Atlanta frocktails coming up. And if you're like, girl, what is a frocktail? <clears throat> a frocktail 
especially for the Atlanta area. This is the time if you are a maker. So what I mean by maker, if you make sneakers, if you do embroidery, if you knit, if you crochet, of course, if you sew, right? We want you to come out and party with us, but not just for one night, but maybe for a couple of times during a weekend. This is the opportunity that you get to make something that is extravagant, that makes no sense that you otherwise may not be able to wear and come on out. Our theme is Secret Garden, so we're expecting all of of the florals, all of the garden goodies. This event is open to all genders, yes, but you do need to be a little on the older side because there will be alcohol served, okay? So you gotta be 21 to come on out and party with us, okay, friends? But it is being held on May 4th, yes, May the 4th be with you too. And we'll be having a fantastic time. Now, Friday, May 3rd, we're gonna be getting together and doing a like a little sip, a little sew, a little fabric swap at Top Stitch Atlanta, which yours truly teaches at. So if you're also like, hey girl, can you teach me how to sew? Come see about me there. We'll also be offering virtual classes very soon. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And don't worry, as always, I will have all of these details in the caption. But definitely come out and party with us the weekend of May 4th. And I will be sharing some accommodations and things like that to that newsletter for Atlanta Fractal. So make sure you sign up there, okay? And also, my apologies about this ding going off. I thought that I silenced my notifications. So it's you, it's not you, it's me. My apologies. But again, I hope that if you are in the Atlanta area or if you feel like traveling, I get to see and meet you on May 4th. Otherwise, I'll check you in my next video.